Wow! We are back in the forest. Today, let us learn subtraction of three digit numbers by regrouping tens to ones and hundreds to tens. Look at the frogs jumping here and there. There are 531 frogs on the ground. 278 frogs jumped into the water. So, how many frogs are left on the ground? We can get the answer by finding the difference between 531 and 278. So, let us group both these numbers into hundreds, tens and ones and then subtract them. Thus, there are five hundreds, three tens and one one frogs on the ground and two hundreds, seven tens and eight ones that jumped into the water. We will represent each hundred with a green dot, each ten with a red dot and each one with a blue dot. Therefore, the number 531 will be represented like this with dots. Now, let us cancel the dots equal to the digits in the subtrahend in each column, starting with the dots in the ones column first, then the dots in the tens column, and lastly the dots in the hundreds column. But look, there is only one blue dot in the ones column, and we need to cancel eight blue dots. We cannot subtract eight from one. So we regroup one red dot to ten blue dots, as we already know that one red dot is equal to ten blue dots. Now look, there are two red dots in the tens column and we need to cancel seven red dots. We cannot subtract seven from two. Hence, we regroup one green dot to ten red dots as we already know that one green dot is equal to ten red dots. So, now we represent 531 with dots like this. Now, let us cancel eight blue dots, seven red dots and two green dots. We are left with three blue dots, five red dots and two green dots. So, we get in all two hundreds, five tens and three ones which is equal to 253. There are 253 frogs still on the ground. Now, let us subtract the numbers 531 and 278 directly. Step 1. Write the numbers in the hundreds, tens, and ones columns. Step 2. Subtract the digits in ones column, that is 1 and 8. As 1 is smaller than 8, we regroup 3 tens as 2 tens plus 10 ones. Now we have 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 ones. Therefore, 11 minus 8 is equal to 3 ones. 
write 3 in the ones column. Step 3. Subtract the digits in the tens column. That is 2 and 7. As 2 is smaller than 7, we regroup 5 hundreds as 4 hundreds plus 10 tens. So, we have 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 tens. Therefore, 12 minus 7 is equal to 5 tens. Write 5 in the tens column. Step 4. Subtract the hundreds. That is, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Write 2 in the hundreds column. Finally, we got the answer as 253. 531 minus 278 is equal to 253. Look at the log of wood floating in the river. There are 634 ants on it. Look, 348 ants fell in the river. How many ants are left on the log of wood? Here, we have to subtract the number 348 from 634. Subtract the ones, that is 4 minus 8. As 4 is smaller than 8, we regroup 3 tens as 2 tens plus 10 ones. Now, we have 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 ones. Therefore, 14 minus 8 is equal to 6 ones. Next, subtract the tens. That is 2 and 4. As 2 is smaller than 4, we regroup 6 hundreds as 5 hundreds plus 10 tens. We have 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 tens. Therefore, 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 tens. Lastly, subtract the hundreds. That is, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Bingo! 634 minus 348 is equal to 286. Thus, 286 ants are left on the log of wood. It was amazing learning about subtraction in this beautiful forest.